On the 29th of April 2010, People's Voice Media were invited along to film Operation Vortex, an operation that was going on in three areas of Salford. Uh, operation Vortex is, uh, is an operation that incorporates uh, resources from our specialist operation branch, which incorporates uh, the mounted, tactical aid unit, the dog officers, uh, firearms officers. The aim of this operation uh, is for them to work along with the neighbourhood staff and to provide reassurance to the community in areas of um, that have experienced problems with burglary, vehicle crime and robberies. Uh, the idea is to target certain offenders that we know about, but uh, one of the main objects of it really is to provide reassurance to the community that we are there and we, we're willing to listen to them as well. Um, we'll be engaging with some residents this evening in the operation and uh, trying to get some feedback from them as well about what they want us to do in those areas. It's a similar what you've just seen ladies and gents, there's a hundred of you tonight, it's in a small area of Salford. Uh, there's two strands to this operation as Steve alluded to in his briefing. The first is community reassurance and the second is going out there, finding those that are causing all the issues in the community, the local criminals, and getting into their ribs and doing as much as we can to make their life difficult to stop them committing crime in Salford. That's what tonight's all about. And it's a bit like the Al Capone syndrome. You might not catch them burglary, but we can certainly do other things to them, such as take the vehicles that they're using off them, is one, give them fixed penalty notices for other offences in the community, because I guarantee these people won't pay fixed penalty notices, so eventually we'll get them locked up for non-payment of fines. So there are other ways to get at these individuals that are making sort of decent people's lives in misery. That's why we're all here tonight. So it's about supporting our colleagues on the F Division, or more importantly, supporting the people that live, work and visit Salford. I'm here to act as an observer on the, the Operation Vortex, both as a resident of, of Broughton Park, by Broughton, and also in my role as the chair of the Salford Independent Advisory Group. What do you think the difference is uh operation is going to make in your area? Well I think the main one is reassurance that uh, all the reporting that people do and that bears some fruit because one of the main complaints we have is people uh, say oh the police are not doing anything, they don't care, they're not interested in what's going on. We're here as obviously a very visible operation that uh, GMP are taking an interest and they're prepared to crack down hard on crime and the, the cause of the, the troublemakers in the different areas. There's some really, really strong residence groups around here who are really, really proactive, really getting the ribs of the police and the local authority and they, they get things done. There's an AMPR and a crypt car there. I'm Susie. I'm Rob. Um, and what's this device we have here in front of us? It's um, the automatic number plate uh, recognition system, uh, AMPR for short, which basically just reads the registration plates of um, the vehicles that are passing it from either the front camera, which you can see up there, or the rear camera. And it, this information is put on the system every uh, day, intelligence-wise, for no insurance, warrants, suspicious vehicles, stolen vehicles, and all that is uh, on the database. And obviously, if it reads a registration plate, there's of any interest to it, it uh, it'll highlight what it's for. An example being that one there. What we do now is stop the vehicle and speak to the, the occupants and do various other computer checks to see if the information is still there, is still live and still in order. The vehicle details and what, it, what it's wanted in relation to it's linked to uh, known uh, criminals and then it's got an incident number. It's of interest, it could be of an interest to somebody. Yeah. And I bet they're sorry they passed here tonight. Well, it's going to be uh, hopefully quite busy tonight. We've been uh, yeah. quite a what, few of these vehicles. Yeah. What do you think of this uh, operation? Then, do you think it's uh, effective? It's it's certainly uh, good to, tar to target to uh, target the areas. Obviously, it's it's densely populated with police at the moment, but it sends out a good message that they're there to any criminals that are there. That it, it, the police are flooding it. It's not an, any sort of criminal activity, albeit in vehicles or on foot, it's not going to be uh, 
tolerated, so it's good team effort. Good. And as you see, there's lots and lots of us going backwards <laughs> and forwards to make the criminals' lives a misery tonight. I sincerely hope so. So this is the door they got on themselves. This hasn't been made safe yet, yeah, so, yeah, so while we're hanging on, but obviously we can imagine the potential for the fire. Yeah. 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 Let's go.